In this video, I'll show you how to create an interactive mockup in Inkscape. As an output, you'll get an SVG file that you can share with anyone. I have already created this design for demonstration purposes. When I inspect the layers menu, you can see we have tons of different objects in a single layer. First of all, you have to identify what elements should be clickable and group them. So I will select this button with the text and press Ctrl G or you can right click and group. And I will do the same for this button and for the back button and for the profile button. Now we have grouped them. After this you can group the screens and put them into individual layers. Select all and Ctrl G. Now we have three groups. Let's create three layers named Home, Add and Profile. Also make sure to rename the layer IDs because we will use these layer IDs to identify the layers later in the mockup process. For that, open XML editor under edit XML editor. Now you can see we have the three layers. Rename the layer ID. Now move these groups into the respective layers. Select the group and move to layer home. And move this to add and move this to profile. You can select and press delete to delete the layer one. Now for the interactivity to work, we need to add a script to this document. Go to File, Document Properties, Scripting, Embedded Scripts, and at the plus icon, you will get a script. Now under the content, you will have to paste this code. What this does is, it hides all the layers except the one that I needed to show. That makes this interactive. I'll copy this and paste it here. Now you can close it. Now under the screens, select the element that should be clickable. So for this screen, it is the trade now button. If you control and click, you can select a single object, but we need to select the group. So we have this group. You can see that's the group. Now right click and go to object properties. And under interactivity, there's various different events. Now we need the interactivity on click. So I will add this since I want to show the layer add when I click the trade now button. And I will change the mouse to a hand icon when I hover over this group. So for that I have to type this. Now do this for the other elements as well and change the layer respectively. So for the confirm button, I'm going to the layers menu and selecting the group, object properties, show layer and the layer name. Make sure your layer name is same as the layer ID and it's wrapped in double quotes. Now the back button. I need to show the home layer. And when I click this black rectangle, I'll have to show the home layer as well.
and on this profile picture I will show the profile layer as a final step make sure you have all the screens stacked on top of another for this I'll use the align and distribute menu and select all of them and the relative to page make it center now you can see we have everything stacked on top of another make sure you are using the page size as the same so I'll make the page size this by selecting this and pressing ctrl shift r now if you see the page size is the same as the screen size save this file make sure you have selected the Inkscape SVG I will name it mockup now if you open this in your browser you, you can see this is a pointer now now if we select it will navigate this is how we create an interactive mockup in Inkscape hope you learned something new if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.